How is everybody doing this afternoon? Just getting on, getting ready here. We're going to be doing some uh, live questions and answers uh, in a few moments. Uh, so if you have a few questions that you would like uh, asked or, or answered, uh, put them into the chat. Just getting ready, just waiting for my co-host to join. So with that, uh, please like, follow, share, and subscribe. All right. Wait a few minutes while people come jumping in. I see some people just starting to jump in. How's everybody doing today? Just waiting uh, for my co-host to join. Uh, but if you have a question uh, that you'd like answered, uh, please put it into the chat. I have some time to do some paid readings as well as uh, a few uh, free one question per person reading. And so just pop your uh, question in the chat. I'll be ready to do a collective reading in a few seconds. Just going to look at uh, some situations. Uh, we're going to look at some clarifying situations. A new deck I got called Clarifying Life Situations and Money Moves Oracle. It's going to give us uh, some ideas of, uh, you know, what's going on uh, inside of the collective uh, when it comes to money. I know I just released on my Light Language channel a uh, healing to help uh, remove the blocks that you have to getting into that job that uh, has your uh, best interest, your own alignment in it. So if you have a chance, jump over to my YouTube channel, uh, Silver Fox Spiritual, and uh, we can go ahead and uh, I, you can check out that light language healing, which is going to help you to manifest your dream job. So while we're waiting, I'm going to pull a few cards here while we're waiting for my co-host. I'm going to just pull a card or two on abundance and this is a brand new deck, so it doesn't really shuffle that well yet. But we're getting there. Going to have a little fun, flex it a little bit. Let's see what wants to come out for the collective. And Spirit, give me one or two cards. Otherwise, I'm just going to pull the card uh, out myself intuitively. So with that, please, let's see what we have. What messages do we have? from this deck. Okay, I've got two, three cards coming out for the collective right now. So the first card I've got is a solo journey. Embrace solitude. Uh, walk alone. See things anew. So this is the first card that's coming out for the collective uh, right here. Looks like I'm going to have to flip my camera too. Uh, I don't know if that uh, will let me do it now. All right, here she comes. Hello. I gotta flip my camera. My uh, my screen is going in the wrong direction. There we go. Flip. That's all right. Go Let's right, see if that back shows back. up. And so that yet? Yeah, uh, no, that didn't go correctly. No. Let's do flip vertically. Oh, now I'm upside down. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you need to read a little bit upside down. Uh, yeah, there we go. We got it right now. So solo journey is just showing my new my new cards here uh, for those who joined. Uh, these are clarifying life situations. Uh, the other one we have is Lux Leash, uh, the weight nice. of controls, uh, or I'm sorry, the weight of continuous uh, betting grows heavy. Know when to hold and know when to fold. Right. So yeah. wisdom lies in knowing your limits. So this is also for the collective. And the last one we have is a uh, forbidden formula. Find an unconventional solution and apply it discreetly. Innovate responsibly, maintain ethics, right? So always, always stay in your, in your heart space when you're doing things. Now uh, this is out of my, uh, one of my new decks. I got three new decks. Uh, so this one's nice. clarifying life situations. Uh, it's a little tough to shuffle this one. It's kind of like slippery all over my hands. Uh, uh -huh. So we'll get there. And then I got my uh, my other deck I got was uh, the Thriving Tapestry. Mm -hmm. And that one is Foxes and Raccoons. We'll tell you everything oh, you need to know. That's what you want, your foxes yep. and your raccoons. 
Okay. So welcome, everybody. Uh, we're going to be doing some live questions and answers, uh, some collective reads. And if anybody would like a, a, a personal read, we do have some time to do some uh, some personal reads. Uh, uh, mm. I am Larry from Silver Fox Spiritual, and this is Susan Molino right here from Susan Molino, 8888. Or if you go to her website, susanteresa.com. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, mm -hmm. she's also... Uh, an insta babe and she's also uh on uh youtube as well so make sure you follow her on all the different spots <laughs> she has know. advice for everybody yes cleaning cars now i just had to clean my desk all good <laughs> yeah my whole house was a disaster sunday yeah yeah it's all good it's all good um um, so um, Demi would like to know, will her she get her car in apartment by March? Ooh, that's a um, good one. Let's find easy. out. So first thing we got to do, uh, is it Demi or Demi? Because uh, I, I never know which one to, to say with that one. Uh, but the first thing, first thing you always want to do uh, is mm -hmm. uh, look at your intentions. Just set your intention that it will come. Uh, by that time. I'm just going to pull a timing question and then I'll ask the universe. So Spirit, because I'm going to assume it's going to come. Uh, when will that come for her, the car and apartment? Uh, hopefully they come together. Mm. And Spirit gave me uh, today. So uh, to mm. me, I think I think uh, the energies are in play for today. Uh, so they're whatever that new... Uh, energy that's out there for you just keep setting that intention and will she get it by march spirit give me a yes or no i'll still take the today we always like things today mm -hmm, and no. spirit saying no not by march but it could be today because it says today so i would say uh for that uh, what you want to do is set your intention uh to spirit having some fun with us they said i already told you today i'm not telling you anything more uh so with that uh just set that intention that it is yours and you're going to be receiving it and you will very nice very good how is everyone else this Sunday? Anyone who wants to pop in a question that we can answer, we will be doing some collective as well as some higher self and angel messages, depending on what comes through. Um, let's see if anyone has any questions, pop it into the chat and Larry and I will answer it. Um, and then it looks like we've got our crown that's opening up. Um, we got, oh, hello, say hi. We got the charms are, and I dug into the bottom of them. So we got a butterfly coming out. We got some love. Black spider. Wow, Not so a lot of people coming out of their cocoons, huh? Look, definitely come for a winter time. We got did the I did I see that snowflake? No. I yeah, it's it coming right now. <laughs> right, it's coming. I'm and we got the already. love and the stars. So there's definitely a lot of love coming through. And I'll take this, this lucky charm. So I will take all the luck I can get. Yeah, magically delicious. Yeah, right? They sold us on all that sugar to well, whatever. I'm still um, stuck on it. The moon and the star. So it's a tiny one to see, but that is what's going on. If no one's going to pop in anything, we're just going to start to pull some collective messages and see what's going on. Pop it in the chat and we'll get to it when we get a chance. Um, make sure you're following Larry on his Silver Fox channels. He does a lot on YouTube, which is his light language messages as well as reading. So make sure you're following him. And then I do a little bit of Reiki um, mindset coaching as well as readings as well. I'm excited. I have a sound bath this week to go to. So I'm excited. Friday. Yay. Yay. I will take a sound bath healing. Um, That's awesome. Yeah. And yeah. so for any of you also looking for a wonderful uh, gift uh, for the holidays, you don't even have to yeah. leave your room to get it. Uh, mm -hmm. We do offer uh, gift certificates uh, for both readings, uh, light language, and Reiki, and even coaching if you feel somebody needs coaching. Um, the key is, uh, you know, this is a gift that's going to be transformational that they'll remember for a lifetime, not a bad pair of socks or, you know, an ugly T-shirt or an ugly Christmas sweater. Let's uh, give them a gift that they really, truly can appreciate and can help them along their path. There we go. We got, um, we're doing the tarot. So the Ace of Cups is coming out. Love, compassion, creativity, new feelings, spirituality, intuition. Um, so Ace of Cups is that there's some new beginnings and new things coming in. So depend, let's get some more 
Um, on top, we got the tower, um, which we don't always love to see, um, but this does mean sudden change. So sudden change can be good, especially when it comes after the love um, and the Ace of Cups. Um, so they're really asking you to be driven to succeed. Um, Knight of Swords means that we're going to be asked to move pretty quickly. Yeah, and I've been feeling the tower ahead. all weekend. Yeah, and a lot of us, it was after this heartbreak, so a lot of grief, a lot of emotions coming up to be released. So it's okay. Just let them, you know, I've been having it too. Just feel them into them and release them, all right? Because this, um, you're going to be faced with a decision soon. Wow. Looks like this is kind of popping out. But um, what do we have? We got the lovers coming out, and then this little one's popping out. So uh yeah definitely love harmony union partnerships this could be soul family coming in too um to help you and then we got courage so having courage just look peeking out have this confidence to enter this new timeline okay this we're in this transition period and that was giving you some time um to really get emotionally balanced so no everything happens for us not to us sure let me see what messages all right let's see what else we got going on we'll get some clarification the song is time after time so interesting yeah, i definitely feel i've been in that loop <laughs> all right um i haven't posted in a couple of days because i've been away so um fruits of your labor so rewards are coming in luxury all right so financial independence we will take this so this goes wrong with the luck so and after that, we have the fool. So in this new beginning, in a sense, is optimism. They want you to have this blind faith that everything's going to work out for you and just trust. All right. And then the final one, um, make sure, though, when you're going into this new timeline, doesn't mean you, you don't need to have boundaries. So have your direct communication and be very clear with your communication with whoever's coming into you. That way you are making sure you, even though you jump timelines, doesn't mean that you won't be dealing with people that are going to try and throw you off. So just make sure you're having your clear boundaries and see them for what they are. Just trying to throw you off from your blessings. Yeah. Great advice. Great advice. All right. Let's see. You want to do any? Want yeah. Do I'm going to see what the fires? foxes and the raccoons want to tell everybody today. All right. So let's find out. Cards. You the see they cards. got a little gold leaf right around the edges. Oh, they're pretty. Yeah. So what do my foxes and raccoons want to tell us for the collective? Mm. What do we need to know for this coming week? It is a Sunday, so we're all getting ready. Mm -hmm. uh, they threw some cards out at me. So the first one they said is uh, fuel. Use setbacks as a fuel for transformation, emerging stronger and wiser. And so mm -hmm. you can see, you can see the little guys here. They're they're telling you, hey, you know, eat some of that food and you know get yourself stronger because guess what? You're going to turn it mm -hmm. around. Right. The mm. next one is master, right? Master resilience by turning life's challenges into opportunities for growth. So we have a second one that's telling us that, you mm -hmm. know, sp spin it around on its head. Uh, my little fox friends are coming out strong. I don't see a raccoon yet. Um, and then we all actually, I think that one is a raccoon. I recognize that every thread contributes to your vibrant life t uh, tapestry and that's form so they're just saying yeah this this shit is just to help to me make, make you a little bit stronger and last one is uh, the fox pilot navigate disruptions with resilience staying on your transformational path and so there's my little fox friend there saying hey and uh so what they're telling you is that, you know, yeah, you've got some challenges here, but, you know, pilot yourself out of those challenges, make yourself stronger, bigger, and better. Uh, life is going to be uh, coming on strong. And then I'm going to pull one more set of cards, which is my next deck I got, which is the animals. I was in an animal mood today or this week. So it, it's this is the beast soul oracle cards. So let's see what the beasts want to tell us, what the animals of the world want to say. The collective. No, I'm not taking the entire deck, but that's fine. All right. So first one we got was the fierce wolf, intelligence, instinct, protection, fierce hunter and protector. Be the guardian and guide of your journey. All right. So remember, always protect yourself. We've got the giraffe, visionary giraffe, growth, foresight, and vision. 
you need to heighten your awareness and intuition. So a lot of you coming into your uh, new spirit path, your awareness, your intuition. Busy hummingbird, swiftness, excitement, cheerfulness. Take a break, discover and enjoy the sweetness of life. Mm. And then we have the wise owl, wisdom, perception, discipline, uh, make a wish to the moonlight and find darkness. Okay. Mm. So the owl is just saying, just kind of seep in and really look at what's going on. And then the last one, the last spirit animal to come out is the naughty otter. Positivity, imagination, playfulness. Enjoy the simple things in life, like knocking things off of the table and mm. watching them go splat. And that's why he's the naughty otter. <laughs> it's like a water cat. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. Well, we like the new cards. That's cool. Got some people yeah. coming. On. So right, let's, so let's see what see yeah, what we you got. Know what else I was no, no, that was it. By love. All right. So let's do these and see what's coming in. Uh, let's see. It was so nice and warm out today. Yeah, it was beautiful. I went out for like ten seconds. Um, you're everything I've ever wanted in a partner. I hate nothing about you. So, oh, hey, yeah. that, but then, <laughs> okay, well, this is definitely mixed energy. So someone's like hot and cold because we got that and we got this little, oh, hey, little the, resentful, so, the middle uh, finger salute. Wow. So someone's in some hot and cold energy. Um, there's definitely some secrets because we're getting that. But no matter this current situation, the love I feel for you is eternal. So someone is definitely confused. It, it seems like your first cards are agreeing with this. They're kind of like that. Uh, you, need, you need to watch the red flags. Yeah, a little confusion. That's a little chaotic energy. Let me say. Um... Mm, hello, Emily. How are we? Let's see. Let's get some more clarifications, especially after that. <laughs> I need to know. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, so I think someone's angry, um, but they want to start over. So I think that's more of their angry at themselves because that doesn't make any sense. Because there's really saying there's positivity about you, three cards, and then that one. So I think they're just angry at themselves or angry at the people around them for throwing them off. Yeah, Ooh. maybe they just need to heal themselves. We don't have... That was way too many, Spirit. What's this one? Ah, interesting. This one hasn't come out in a while. So religious factors. So someone might... Oh, let's see. Is anyone else popping in here? There you go. So I guess you could have religious differences. Do I? That's a huge problem. I feel like we've come so far in society. I don't... You're so attractive, but they love you. All right. So maybe that's causing some of the confusion. Let's get some more and then we'll get some more guidance on how to deal with all this stuff. Um, when coffee met cocktail, we're so different, but we work so well together. So I think that's what it is. I don't know. I love those espresso martinis. That's a that's a coffee cocktail. That, yeah. That's a, that's a wonderful mix. So it was a... It was all a dream. I fantasized. Oh, so someone's really thinking about you. All right. And leave it with on top. What turned over though? Hold on. Something turned over. We'll take that one. Um, I'm going to shower with gifts. Oh, we got proposal. And then let's see what turned over. Yes, I have options, but all I see is you. Wow. Oh, hey. And then this one popped up after it. So there's some sexual tension for sure. And then there's proposal. So. Wow, those are interesting cards. I'm going to give it to her, but Very interesting. The energies are kind of... They're all over the place for December. I was hoping they would calm down a little bit this no, December. No, no, I they... mean, it shows that. I think they're just second-guessing themselves. There's a little bit of frustration, but it seems that like they're more positive, that's for sure. So let me get some more of these... Lover's Oracle to clarify because I want to see what else is going on. Hi, how are you? How is everyone this Sunday? Make sure if you want to pop a question in the chat, you can. Larry and I will answer it. Let's see what we got on this. Yeah, someone wants to seduce you. So 
There's definitely some sexual tension, flirting, dating. Um, this is your soulmate. And I think Cupid struck. So they're going to be coming in um, because they see you having this happily single and they're like, mm, nope, they think you're moving on. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Little do they know, right? <laughs> and there is some competition because they can feel it. That's funny. Um, but they're watching you. Oh, and this definitely was the runner. Oh, goodness. Run, run, run. Um, but I think when they got to running, they didn't realize that they were going to send a little bit or you were sending and pulling them into that because um, that is very interesting. It's yeah, I've been hearing flock of seagulls a lot. I ran. I ran so far away. I know, right? I ran. Just know if they run. I mean, it's kind of funny. I laugh at it anymore because it's like they're running from themselves. There we are. So... Um, I don't really get it anymore, <laughs> ascending, but um, it's all stuff that we need to bring back to ourselves and kind of fun with life that it's all going to happen when it's supposed to. And if someone's not ready, they're just not ready, right? Yeah, it looks like there's some addictions coming out that they're still healing from. Yeah, they're self-sabotaging. So unfortunately, you know, it's only hurting them. Um, they are reminiscing. And we are getting this like engagement ring, which I keep seeing proposal and stuff like that coming out. So someone misses your kiss and, you know, we're going into this new phase. So I think they just have a little bit of hesitation, a little bit of anger um, that things didn't work out the way they thought they were. Um, but there's definitely more positivity in these cards. So we're definitely getting that love coming in. Did you want to pull any clarifiers and then I'll do some higher? So I did. I, I pulled a few clarifiers because I, I wanted to ask them directly. What's going on here? So yeah, let's go. I pulled let's some go. messages uh, from your person. Mm -hmm. They're not ready. First one that popped out. I'm not ready. Mm. I think the world of you. There we go. I have sexual fantasies about you. Oh, well, we have that sexual tension coming out. And I can see myself with you in the future. So oh. truly the clarifiers are in agreement. Uh, Energies across uh, across the way are still saying the same thing. Mm. Well, let's find out. So let's do some of these whispers of love since we got a lot of love coming through. Let's see what's going on. All right. Does anyone, did anyone pop any questions in the chat that I missed? Venus energy. Welcome, welcome. Glad you're liking the live. Yep. Didn't um, see any, any questions on my side. Okay, so we got have patience. Love is patient and kind always. So again, that refers to what Larry pulled. So this is coming through, but we haven't pulled the timing on it. So there's definitely questions and hesitation. So this is not happening today. Spiritual connection, a relationship has a connection that goes beyond this lifetime. So this is a strong connection that we're pulling on in the energies. Just getting to know you guys a little bit. Hi, Venus. You're welcome. So Spirit's oh. saying October. Oh boy, simple acts of kindness. Kindness energizes you and brings happiness to those around you, okay? So make sure you're staying in this happiness. Um, embrace your emotions and also know that timing, you know, doesn't always mean for everyone's timeline. Uh, allowing your feelings to surface and to be accepted. So this is really waking you guys up to yourselves and embracing your own emotions. So if anything's triggering anything on you right now, that's just triggering your emotions to surface and be accepted as well as they're saying, you can ask for help when you're going through it, whatever you need, be willing to accept some support. Um, okay. But you know, this person definitely loves you. So they're oh. coming in. It's a matter of yeah. time. That's what we like yeah. to hear. So for those of you also who are having some problems uh, with your money, at this point, mm. I just put in a, a healing up on my spiritual channel. It is mm. to help you release all blocks uh, that are keeping you from the job that's aligned for you. Uh, I know a lot of us have been put into these really low vibrational jobs that just have been tearing us apart inside. And so I felt called to pull in the healing to uh, release whatever it is, what those contracts are that you might have uh, that are holding you to these low, low vibrational jobs and allow you to get more in alignment with your current frequency. So, you know, if you hmm. feel called, uh, do visit my uh, channel over there. And I think I'm going to pull some mystic love oracle cards since we are into the into the season of love here uh, let's see mm -hmm. let's see what the energies i want to play for that uh did you have any questions on your side before i pulled 
Um, no, Venus just said she's interested in getting to know what we're doing on here. So she keeps liking the live, which is awesome, sharing her energy. But I haven't seen Thank you. Thank you, Venus. We, we do a little bit of this and a little bit of that. We pull some collectives. We answer some questions. Uh, if I feel called, I'll also do a light language activation or two, uh, depending upon what's going on uh, within the collective and when, who, who's watching. So right now, I'm just going to go about, go with the energy that seems to be presenting itself, which is love. And let's see what's going on within the love situations, because we've been pulling a lot of like kind of mm -hmm. uh, seesaw energy uh, where they're in, they're out, they're in, they're out, right? It's... You know, kind of like an in and out, in and out burger, but not in a good way. So, let's see what we have here. So, the first one uh, we're having is uh, love signs, right? So, there's you're going to be getting signs and clues uh, for what's coming in. Uh, you just have to be aware of it. A lot of you had a person that was ghosting, right? And this is where we see that you know, in out mm -hmm. energy, very temporary. Uh, but there's an apology coming in. Mm. And we also have Believe in the Right Timing, Divine Timing. This is a card that we all kind of understand but really don't really want to stomach. And that's because things have to happen when they happen after a certain trigger events that then move to the next trigger event that finally gets you to where you went. And it's not always in the time that we want because we want to control it. Uh, but mm -hmm. because it's because we can't, uh, we get a little frustrated. So get out of that frustrated energy. Uh, mm -hmm. be, be aware of friends who are bad influences. As you can see, these two look a little bit uh, kind of not in a, not good influencing. Mm -hmm. uh, but there is love and strong affection coming in. And it's going to be very unexpected. Like a splash mm -hmm. of lightning. Mm -hmm. So hopefully that resonates with uh, the rest of you. Uh, so let's, uh, do we have any questions uh, uh, from anybody on here? Any viewers? Let's see. I was going to do, all right, let's, before we do some higher self, let's see some messages from your person. Denegal says it resonates with him. All right, well, welcome. All right. Thanks for sharing. And just your remember, if you are looking for your own reading, please do reach out. Uh, Priceless is uh, above. Uh, it makes a great, great holiday gift. One that's a, uh, uh, you know, something that's going to be remembered. You know. Mm. Yeah, gift of healing. All right. So then we got. Um, I'm doing my best on my end to live a positive, healthy lifestyle. So one, you literally have the best hugs. Do you have mag a magic touch? So. One was are coming out. Your arms are safe for me, and I long for us to hold each other again. So there's definitely some ten some ten. Some energy. You brought some friends. Oh, that's awesome. Bring your friends. I feel bad for what I said to others. I get triggered and say things I don't mean about. Oh wow! So they've said some stuff to others. Eight eight eight. All right, or eights. I love our memories from the fall and winter. Hey, hey. someone had some. Fun memories. Um, can we really count on each other emotionally? I need stability. So they're definitely questioning things, which is why they're not in quite today. So let's see. Let's see what else we got in the energies. This collective. Mm -mm -mm. I have fake profiles on social media accounts to keep an eye on you. Oh, hey. Uh oh, somebody's watching. I keep hearing that song too. <laughs> There's so many negative energies around me right now. Oh yeah. Yeah, I've had that one. <laughs> yeah, I just heard something today too, which made sense. But I don't tell you everything because of how I was raised. I need to heal some childhood wounds. So this is what's going on. They're still healing some childhood wounds. So I'm being made fun of by people because I just cannot let you go. I talk about you every chance I get. Oh well, they're obsessed. I value and I want you to know that you can come to me for any need you have. And then we'll leave it at this one. Are we really counterparts, twin flames? I am questioning everything in my life. Hey. You got Um. <laughs> this is funny. It says, can you put a little some effort into getting to know me lately? I feel like you don't really like me. It's triggering. <laughs> so there's lots of triggering energy. Um, I wasn't going to read that one, but I did. Um, 
Yeah, I don't know. It's it's interesting. The love I did pull it. It was like five oh one on the time. So in this book of angel numbers, it says unchain yourself, release the negative. There is a space inside you being used to hold the bitterness of the past. Your angels implore you to keep the lessons, but to let go of the resentment. You don't need to feel bad in order to protect yourself from it happening again. Visualize the anger you hold and picture yourself giving it back to the place or person you received it. So unchain yourself, release that negative energy, and they're saying to release it back to that person. So I don't know. I usually like to transmute it and then not send anything back. Um, just send love, it. love energy yeah, back. Yeah. That's all you I need to like do. I don't like to send anything back because it can bring karma onto yourself. So, um, anything you intentionally send, you love that. Okay, Denigal, I'm glad. Where are you on from? Country are you in, or what state are you in? We'll get some higher self messages and see what we got going on. The holidays are here. It's so crazy. It's so oh, crazy. I know. I need to shop tonight. Minneapolis, Minnesota. Okay. And, wow. and Summer would like to know, once you're done with those, will PJ and her reconcile? We'll find that out for you, Summer. Oh, yeah. We'll pull some for that. So the higher self is saying, shine your beauty. So let others do and say what they will. Keep doing you. Resist the temptation to dim your light. So just saying, be you, okay? Don't let others affect how you are to be in this lifetime, okay? That's a huge thing about emotional um, intelligence. Guided lessons. Your higher self is guiding you to make, to make mistakes so you can learn. So it's all part of the journey. You know, people always ask me, like, oh, well, are you giving the signs to get it? No, we're not showing everything, especially in our love life and everything else, because we would avoid it. We don't want to learn lessons. <laughs> we don't like towers of the balls. <laughs> Nobody likes the towers while the towers are falling. Are blessings. So just know whatever is a closed door. Hi, Melissa. How are you? Um, make sure you're checking your vibe and your auric field because um, you are in the making, which means you're just in the process of getting to where you, you need to be. So your higher self is, you know, just don't dim yourself. Don't let anyone else's energy affect you. How All righty. So let's, let's see. Yeah. So Summer, I asked the question, will PJ and you reconcile? So yeah. first card that came out was nah. So <laughs> then I, I asked again, I said, you know, all right, let's really talk about this. So I got no misdirection, uh, recalibrate your course. And I did it three times more. Uh, mm. No storm, too violent, shelter needed. And then the last one is, yes, safety ahead, uh, navigate smoothly, right? So when you get mm. three no's and one yes, uh, what's basically saying is that what you want isn't really good for you at this point. Uh, however, there's something coming in that's much safer um, much better for you and that's going to be the one you're going to need to look out for so hopefully that answers your question summer yeah let us and know then, yeah and then I, I pulled some 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 more messages from uh, the person in separation while while you were pulling the other ones and mm -hmm. the first one I got was, you know, because I want some more clarity about all these energies coming in that you've been mm -hmm. pulling. And the first one said, I feel insecure around you or about you. You treat me better than I have ever been treated. And you know that you can give me everything I do really want. But I am struggling with my fears. I feel like I'm very, I'm not good enough. It's my own insecurity holding me back. Right. And then the next one is doubt. Right. Please stop doubting our connection. I can sense it. So that person's in doubt as well. And then the, la the next one is learning. Uh, you're unique, mm -hmm. unique and special. And I've never met anyone uh, like you before. You've opened me up to things I never knew were possible. And I'm so strong because of the power of our love. Right. So they know that there's love there. Uh, mm -hmm. Next one is communication. I need to talk to you and feel you close. So they really do want to communicate. Mm -hmm. uh, you mean the world to me. And the last bit is twin flame signs. Look for the signs of our connection. So some of you may be getting some signs. Uh, just be careful with the twin flame uh, because it can be a trap uh, as well as a blessing. Uh, you have to use your discernment. And I think that's kind of what Susan was pulling as well about making sure you're truly discerning that the truth of the energy and the connection, uh, not just uh, the lust or the uh, uh, what do you call it? The adrenaline rush. Mm -hmm. So Denegal, um, been seeing his car. And you're welcome, Summer. 
So here's a and question. Thank you for those roses. Anna Maria, hello. Um, what energy do I need to bring into relationships? So I asked the um, unicorns and I got these three for you. So teamwork, love, and exercise. So this is what you need to bring to relationships. So they're saying to really get your body moving with the exercise because that's going to bring you more. So when we move our body, it's releasing emotions. It's, it's letting things go. So when you're exercising, you're doing your body good of releasing some old negativity. All right, when you're bringing that love, you always want to bring that love, that unconditional love to any relationship, okay? No matter what the other person does. If they, whatever they bring is, is what they bring. Um, you can't worry about that. It's, it's whether you bring that unconditional love and then, you know, deciding whether they're going to match you or not. Work with others to make this situation come about. So it's all about, in any relationship, it's all about teamwork, okay? It's about working together and not against each other. So if you're not in that and you're not working together, then that kind of tells you a little bit about the relationship. Um, but they're also saying to talk to your spirit guides and your angels tonight before you go to bed and ask for what you want. Um, because when you wake up, you will have a better idea of what to do. Um, so relax until then. Donegal. He's saying, what energy do I need to bring to a relationship? And you're saying you see his car everywhere. Okay. How oh, about I find out what's blocking in love? Yeah, let's, Anna. Let's, okay. Let's pull that card. Let's see what's blocking them in love, that energy. Okay, then I have a question from Anna. I just right. what I need to hear. Okay, good. It's demanding. Uh, you got to get out of the demanding energy. That's what's blocking. <laughs> so let us know if that uh, actually uh, resonates and or not. Forgive. And forgive. All right, and, and when we have to, we have to forgive ourselves, okay? Because we've made mistakes, too, in our relationships as well. Yeah, okay? and forgiveness is really only for you. It's not for the other person. It's for you to re just release that energy that you're holding on to. Yeah, all right. So Anna's saying, is Mario C. from Italy giving me false hope about us? All right, well, let's find out about this Mario. Mario from Italy. Oh, hey. Anna Maria, 11-11. I love it. You're bringing, bringing the, the twins in. <laughs> <laughs> um, it is saying not possible. So um, let's see. So just know there are some false ones that come in online. So um, be aware of that, um, whether someone's showing up or, you know, it's just that kind of fun flirting online. Let's get a little bit more clarifications on it. Yeah, and, and be care like she said, be careful of the, the twins because remember what comes in is what's in alignment at your moment. So your external is really a manifestation of your internal environment. And so, so if you're in that chaos internally, mm -hmm. then a lot of times your external environment is going to turn into that chaos too. So you have to try to find a way to balance what's going on inside of you. And sometimes it's just uh, cocooning energy where the chaos is just metamorphosis and it's just shaking things up. Okay, so it looks like... Um... All right. First is coming up emotionally scarred. So this is bringing up emotion. So it could be, you know, false flame coming in. It just depends because it's triggering you to, for this healing. So it's bringing up emotions in you that need to be addressed. You're having these memories, this reminiscing um, memories, and I, I think you're attaching them to that situation. I've grown so much because of you. So know that this is part of the journey is that you're growing and learning what triggers you. Uh, Thank you, Venus Energy. Yeah. But um, this is saying, you know, you're wanting this person that, that is going to be the best you've ever had. So you're kind of holding out for this. Um, and maybe you've been with this person. I'm not really sure. Um, you were the reason I got my smile back, but now you're the reason I feel pain. So this could be, sounds like it's more of like a false one that's trying to trigger you into your healing to bring you into that full alignment. Because um, they're saying, I'm sorry, I allowed my pride to get in the way. Um, and I will put in more effort and love is an action. Okay. So that to me is saying their actions speak louder than their words. So you really have to see, is this person really showing up in your reality? Is this person just messaging you? Um, I had a couple that were long distance that just never showed up, ever said they were going to come in and never did. Um, they were definitely big lessons for me. So just be aware and use your intuition, your discernment, um, it is that the universe trying to trigger you to heal something that's within you um, and then see if he 
falls in line or if he actually puts the effort in to come and see you. 100% of what I need to hear. That's great. Yeah, and, and just remember also, don't be angry, right? Because a lot of times what we do is we're either angry at ourselves for getting into that trap or we're angry at the other person for not healing, for not doing whatever they need to do. And really always bring it back to yourself and, okay, what do I need to do? And release any anger because anger creates attachments and those attachments uh, become really hard to pull apart and cut cords like that cord will keep on growing back every time it gets cut. And the reason is, is because you're pushing energy towards it and attention. And so you have to find a way to remove that energetic attention. Uh, sometimes it's very difficult, uh, but mm. it's something that can really help you springboard yourself into the proper uh, energy for love. Yeah, and the, uh, the other one was like, um, what was it? A guy showed up just messaging, which I think is one of those scams, is that um, trying to ask you to put money into um, Bitcoin and all that kind of stuff. So there's all kind of people that take advantage of you. So just be careful. Um, make sure they're showing up properly. You know, they're being honest. And um, But I think some of those long-distance ones are really just to trigger you into healing parts of ourselves. So just be aware of that and use your discernment and see what happens. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, the universe sends you crazy stuff to to get you to heal. I mean, there's lots of lessons, and unfortunately, they come in d many different ways. Um, looking back, I kind of see them kind of entertaining now. Yeah. But <laughs> 2020 hindsight, it's never entertaining. When, when I was in them, no, they feel <laughs> kind of real. They feel, you know, you're you're wanting that attention. You're wanting someone to care about you. You're we're at that kind of lows and. You know, your person's not showing up, and it's just, it can get hard. So just be aware of that. How are you, Celine? Good to see you. Um, so uh, if you have a question, why don't you pop it into the uh, into the uh, comment window? And, and just like Susan said, you know, you're going to you're gonna sometimes manifest these experiences, and those experiences are meant to help you grow because uh, mm -hmm. you create your own, you create your own uh, experience uh, no matter how it is. And mm -hmm. so what you want to do is you want to, you know, try to get inside yourself and try to clear out whatever it is that's trying to kind of pop out. Right. And so a lot of times it's abandonment wounds or, you know, rejection wounds and stuff like that. And they're going to present themselves inside your uh, awareness somehow. And mm -hmm. it's now up to you to look at those signs. And as I always say, healing is a choice. It's it's not going to happen automatically just because of portals uh, coming through. It doesn't mean you're getting the energy because you have to choose to accept it because you're in a you know you're in a universe that's uh, free will. So free mm -hmm. will says I can choose to accept the healing or I could choose to just go back to the ham the karmic wheel of hamsters. You know why? Because I enjoy it, right? It's you know you're you're in a big amusement park here, and sometimes you want to go back on that ride and get scared a thousand times over. That's okay. There's no judgment. But, you know, if you do want to truly heal and get into that place of true love, not the uh, toxic love, uh, which is the one that, that uh, generates a lot of adrenaline, uh, seems exciting until it's not. Um, that's a choice. Oh. Well, and she's saying he's been hot and cold. Yeah. I mean, I just had to. I don't, I had to just confront it and just be like, are you coming out or you're not, you know, like at that some point and then see if they show up or, you know, then they start to make excuses and then you kind of like, all right, yeah, I see what this is. So, you know, um, it's all part of our boundaries, our healing, um, our learning to speak up for ourselves and that throat chakra as well. Um, you know, not putting up with someone who's hot or cold, you know what I mean? Someone loves you, they're going to they're gonna show up. Um, they're not, you know, someone who's hot or cold, usually, unfortunately, they're playing games and they have either other people they're doing that to, because um, why else would they be popping on and popping off, you know what I mean? Even if they have jobs, it's just, you kind of read into it, but that fills in with a lot of our abandonment wounds because we kind of put up with stuff that we shouldn't deserve, um, and that less because that's something we're used to. So just be aware of that. It's just bringing that up to for you to see it, for see it what it is and to not be okay with it. You know, you deserve someone that's going to show up for you. That's going to be honest. That's going to, you know, um, enter your 3d world as well. Yep. Uh, words and words and actions need to be in alignment. If they're not in alignment, then you just got to kind of say, thank you very much. I enjoyed the time. Uh, however, this is not in alignment with what I want. Right. And, and that's effectively what you need to do. You don't have to be mean. You don't have to be angry. You just have to say, hey, this is just not for me and be okay with that fact that you would be alone again. And that's where a lot of us kind of 
fall flat because we're so afraid to be alone that we don't want to allow ourselves to be with ourselves. And once it's you're with yourself. Terrifying. Yeah, it's very, very true, yeah. like Larry said, because then we think, oh, this is the only person for us. There's no one else. And that's not true. Um, so it's part of that shadow energy that a lot of us have to see and face and, and realize that we deserve better and um, not to settle. So um, yeah, I remember I was in one of those phases. part of the journey and it's not a fun one. Yeah, I was in one of those phases and I was like, you know, uh, I've got the only twin in the world, you know, in the universe that uh, was rejecting me, but it really wasn't a twin. It was a false, uh, but you're in such a stuck mindset that you feel that that's a twin and it's really not. It's just, you have a very, very deep set of contracts and that's what all this is. It's all soul contracts. And once mm -hmm. you get to certain frequencies or once an event triggers, then all of a sudden, uh, you know, it's like attachments, right? They'll, they'll come fly down once you trigger something like say, I want to heal. And they're going to yeah. say, wait a second, you got a contract not to heal. So they're going to send something down. And they know immediately because once you change your energy, boom, it triggers the contract. Yeah. And yeah, so hopefully that helps. But see how, see how it feels. It's just a matter of their, whether their actions match what they're, they're saying. And it's just part of, part of learning. It's let's see what's life. coming in for her. Let's see what's coming in. I'm going to pull cards. Let's do that. It's going to do some let's, let's see what's coming in. Let's go for the positive side. Let's see what's really coming in for you. And yeah. I got benefit of the doubt. So spirit saying they're sending you somebody, but you need to be open to give them benefit of the doubt. Don't be locked on your old person because there's going to be a really burning desire uh, with this one. If you do give it the benefit of the doubt and there's a potential for marriage. So you had some good cards coming in. You just have to allow it. And that's the hardest thing to do is to cut the other energy off enough so that there's enough space for the next one to come in. Well, and then that's part of the lesson. It's a test to get you through to the other side to know that there's better on the other side. Okay, so it's a little fear that we have to face and know and trust um, that there's better for you that's out there. Um, and then usually once you pass that test, it, it usually comes in pretty quickly. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. Um, so let's do, we did some higher self. Um, Hmm. <laughs> getting into the holidays. Um. Let's see what the angels have to say, and then um, let's see what's going on for the holidays, and maybe get some money. Let's see what's going on. Yep. Let me put, I'll pull some energy cards too after you. You get some angel cards. We'll see what's in the energies for Ooh, people. Oh wow! And that kind of flipped. It. So the angels want you to know to expect a miracle. So oh, look how happy she is. No, this is really asking you to trust and have faith because. Knowing that if the universe can send you some guy from Italy out of nowhere, don't you think they can send you the real person? So it's really about that faith and trust and knowing that you are angelically protected. So this is really testing your intuition. All right. And it's part of your spiritual growth. Um, we all have to go through it. But just know that when you have the courage and bravery, the blessings are on the other side. So it's really making sure you have that courage to stand up to whatever is coming into your um, and testing you, you know, that's really part of it. I mean, once you have the, I, I remember someone telling me like, I don't know, when I was dealing with the whole twin thing years ago, and then it finally just was like, open my throat chakra and was like, fuck it, I'm going to text, I'm going to say whatever the want I want and like call shit out, <laughs> call bullshit out <laughs> and be like, I'm tired of like dipping my toe in or just, I don't know, avoiding that conversation. So I was like, you know what? Sometimes you just got to rip the bandaid off and be like, I, I got to call bullshit on bullshit and I need to move on. <laughs> yeah, it's called Johnny Dunn. As our friend Johnny say, Johnny Dunn. Yeah, so it's a part of having that courage and opening that throat chakra and putting those boundaries up and being like, hey, this is nice. It's great chatting with you, but, you know, you're not really real in my reality yet. And, you know, let, let me know if you want to be a part of that reality because – I'm awesome and you need to, you know, get with me. And that's part of this part is having that confidence to know that you're amazing. Everyone is amazing and they have a person that's coming in just for them and that we don't have to put up with these karmics, these toxic. No, it's a choice. Lessons, <laughs> you okay? can choose. 
You can choose to say no. I would never go back to a narcissist. I was in a marriage for 20 years, and Larry had his fun, too. Ne learned our lesson. Never, ever, ever go back into such a succubus. Like, just... Yes. And I feel bad. I feel bad. Let's say I don't ever... I'm never angry anymore. I just... I feel bad for them because they don't have love for themselves. They don't know how to love. And they are so sadly insecure that it's just, that's just the way they are. And so they, you know, gravitate towards empaths and people that have that huge heart. So look at it in that way, the how amazing you are that they're attracting to you. But unfortunately, we do track some people that, you know, need that healing too, to us. So just make sure you're turning around in that sense of knowing how amazing you are that you're attracting it, that you can track so much better as well, okay? It's really learning that lesson um, and knowing your worth and knowing that, you know, you're truly amazing and you're deserving of um, someone that's going to give you the time and the energy. Hi, Melissa. What is your question? Just see the question mark. All right, Larry, do you want to do you want to pull anything? Yeah, I'm going to pull some energies here. Uh, for the collective, I pulled a few cards here, and one more card here. So there's one more card that wants to come out. See what's going on in the energy of the collective. It's a it's a tough time. It's a lot of chaos going on. And the chaos is because everybody's rushing to get things done for the holidays, last minute shopping, all that stuff. And so sometimes you have to just kind of ground yourself a little bit. And so we have. Um, a few cards uh, from the angels uh, for energy here or, or for what the energy is. So a lot of you, they're in this anxiety, right? And it feels like a trap, right? And what is anxiety? It's, it's fear, right? It's fear and anger in the same spot and it's feeling trapped, right? And what we want to do is we want to release that anxiety, allow that mm -hmm. uh, to trap out, allow that to flow out. I just uh, had a little bit of a burp there from that one. So that needed to be released. Uh, the second thing that's uh, coming through is our second chakra, Archangel Ariel. What's our second chakra? Right, goes starts at first as your root, second is your sacral. So that's your creative sexual energy uh, that is pulling itself out, ready to uh, rock and roll. Uh, it's time to heal, clear, get out of that lust energy and into the creativity. Find your joy, dance, sing, uh, draw, mm -hmm. whatever it is that's a creative aspect. Sometimes it's just speaking or singing in the shower, right? The next one that's coming out is your fourth chakra. What is your fourth chakra? Uh, that's your heart, right? It's time to uh -huh. open up that heart, clear out all the things that are holding your heart together. And once you do, guess what? The world is all yours. So that's the energies uh, that are coming in right now for the collective. So take advantage of those energies. Uh, work on your sacral chakra. Work on your heart. And I believe you pulled some hearts today, Susan. Uh, did you pull sacral yeah. at all? Or what did you pull? I forget the other. That was a crown. Uh, so we got crowns. So you're probably getting divinely guided into it as well. Yeah, a lot of people's intuitions and stuff are coming in. So there's messages from your guides. Um, yeah, feel the joy in all that you do. So it's really just being in that fun joy energy. Um, I know it's hard when we're missing that love that we want. Um, but it's all about, and like you just said, you, you said it's that orange sacral. Um, it's really yep. feeling into that energy. So that was definitely pulling on what Larry was saying. So focus on the positive, okay, what you have, um, and then just be yourself, okay? That is part of the alignment. And once you're in that joy of just being yourself, focusing on the positive, finding that joy in life that you currently have, um, and then there's that throat chakra, the blue, that's what's going to bring in your person because then you're in alignment, okay? Once you're happy with yourself, okay, because no one is going to, why, what am I like thinking of that? No one's, um, I can't even uh, going to heal us. No one's going to be like the person, like the other half. We are whole ourselves. Um, so know that. Yeah, it's a lack and, mentality, I think is what you yeah, were Yeah, that's to a say. lack mentality thinking I'm only half a person and I have to have this other person. No, you have to be a full person yourself. You have to heal yourself. You have to be in that joy and you can't expect someone. That's the whole big thing with the narcissist and being in a 20 year marriage where I feel like the person had like a hole in their heart and they can't even love themselves. How are they going to love you? It's the same thing you got to think about. You have to heal. You have to be happy and know that you'll track that because no one wants to be around someone who's depressed and that's sad and that's angry at their ex. Have you ever been on a date where they're like angry at their ex? And I've been there and they're like, 
bashing their person and hey they could be a perfectly great person but like it's not attractive to hear them butcher i mean and their ex could have been a horrible person you know but you don't want to hear that i tell them that you need therapy you need to release that anger like you're never going to move on until you release that because you don't want to be on a date and having this person talk about their ex it's just it's not no, you don't want that it's it's negative energy you know negative energy not, yeah and they haven't moved on if they're not for you that's okay you know and it's the same thing with exes like we both have narcissist exes but you know what being nasty and mean to them isn't really going to help you one way or another you have to try to find that common ground and they'll try to snip and snipe and uh, tit and tat and you just kind of have to be the better person and you know say okay great you know whatever because yeah. the more you argue the more you snip and back and forth it goes to the kids and you don't want that going on to the kids uh, and knock on wood hopefully you don't have any kids with that narcissist but uh yeah i'm guilty of that one so <laughs> that's even if you don't have kids and you're not even married you, you don't want to be around someone that has that negativity that's still working on their healing and then they're projecting that onto you or they're they're still in that healing process especially if they're still talking in, in that angry phase so you know unfortunately it's a grieving phase that you have to go through and you have to heal to move on and then you don't want to bring that into the next relationship as well. So um, if you don't heal from your past one, you're going to be bringing that in and, you know, bludgeoning the next person with it, which no one wants. To. It's it's a huge turnoff. It's a complete turnoff from people that are fully healed. So um, Melissa, did you have a question? I have a question mark. Didn't know whether you had a question or not. All right, then I'm going to do some of these um <clears throat> Uh, sacred forest or we'll let's see what kind of guidance we have Ooh, the forest halo. i love those cards i feel like i'm getting really a lot of signs on halo i have a question a vulnerable one what's the deep fear i have that recently brought me to my knees okay what's the deep fear all right give me a second feels like shame shame um well, Larry's pulling shame. I'll pull hey. some cards. Though. Hey lovable. How are you doing? So we're getting for the collective. There's this expansion, all right, that's going on. I'm gonna read that one. We have this activation. We have this renewal and healing energy that's coming in. You see the winter, so that you have the renewal in the spring. Um, so let me read this real quick and then we'll get some answers for you, Melissa. But Let's see. So 37 expansion. Mm -mm -mm. All right. Uh, vitality, health, success, abundance, healing, and passion are expanding in your life. However, you can't sit back and wait for it to happen. The energy of summer is the energy of working with this passion in the direction of your dreams. Give it everything you got. An immense reward will follow. Okay. So it's really saying to really jump into your ex expansion. Wow. Okay. Very cool. And then the activation, don't hesitate. It's, the time is now. Okay, so some of you are being really asked to um, step into your passions. Um, there are times to pull back and think carefully before every action, but this isn't one of those. Okay. Interesting. And uh, the mermaids right, so are saying the ocean. And when they say the ocean, it's meaning uh, be oh. wild and free, uh, beautiful yeah. and mysterious. So, you know, be inside your... your uh, power so to speak and uh -huh. don't let anybody uh, hold you down all right so she's got um let me see what we got and lovable Question would like to know what's what going on from spirit so i'll let you answer first and then yeah, what did you I'll, pull you said you got uh, well i didn't pull it it was just intuitive i heard i just felt and heard shame something that's caused her some shame that's probably okay. what brought her to her knees so yeah, I'm getting transformation card. Um, the fairies tells you to surrender to this transformation in your life that's happening for your highest good. Embrace it, your transformation the be best is yet to come. So this is part of you addressing those shadow parts of you, what Larry said, it's a shame, okay? Um, a lot of us have a lot of learning experiences and to release a lot that has happened to us, whether in our childhood or whatever has happened to us, that is not, for us to hold on to it's for us to let go so whatever has brought you to your knees or meaning you're vulnerable your vulnerability is your freedom so if it's bringing you it's, it's asking you to release that for yourself okay and vulnerability is truth right it's mm -hmm. finally showing who you are what you are and what you really feel so hopefully that resonates let us know 
And then uh, for lovable, you want to know uh, anything you want to know from spirits? Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna pull you lovable. You come here a lot, so I'm gonna pull you one of my uh, fox and raccoon spirits cards. Mm -hmm. It's a new deck. Only pulled a couple cards from it, so let's see uh, what the raccoon and foxes uh, want to tell you uh, that you need to know at this point in time. Melissa is asking how to release it. I would get on some of Larry's light language as well as you can sign up for some Reiki to help you release some of those emotions. All right, so we got a whole stack of cards out here, uh, lovable. Uh, so the first one was uh, self-care. So this raccoon is saying, prioritizing self-care is the cornerstone, fortifies and enriches your journey. So that's a cute little raccoon right here. He's coming mm -hmm. over to say, hey, get a little self-care, get that massage. Um, get that new hairdo, whatever it is that makes you happy, party party fingers and toes, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. Use setbacks as fuel for transformation. So this is the second time we've seen uh, this come out. So they really want to push this out to the collective as well as just you, that it's time to, you know, whatever setbacks you're feeling, uh, move into it, lean into it because it's just going to be fuel. So just eat that shit up. Uh, make, make pretend that's a nice creme brulee and just gobble that thing down and move past it. Right. Next one is endure, right? Channel determination to persevere through setbacks and achieve your goals. So we can see that there's a lot of energy of set, setbacks that have been coming through. Uh, mm -hmm. Last two are uh, the master, sometimes it's also called the magician, master resilience by turning life's challenges into opportunities for growth. The foxes are always the sly little ones. They, they know how to turn everything into their uh, advantage. Uh, because they're using their intuition. And last but not least, the pilot. Navigate disruptions with resilience. So there's a lot of cards around resilience, uh, using your own power, mm -hmm. getting into your own power. And yeah, there may be some some uh, roadblocks in there, right? A couple beaver dams that need to come down, but you got to, you know, you got to get lean into it. And once you lean into it, uh, things are going to be really good. Uh, so hopefully that resonates with you, Lovable. Mm -hmm. And anything on your side, uh, Susan? No, I was going to say, Melissa, if you want to hang on, Larry might do a light language. If not, I would definitely get on and follow him on his YouTube channel. Um, no, I don't have any questions. Um, All right. Well, she if she wants to hang on, I can give her give her some uh, light language. I just recently over over the weekend got another upgrade on it, so a couple more dialects yeah. uh, popped in the. Uh, Popped into the repertoire. A little bit of it, but you know, it, it's it's a journey. So mostly, it's it's. I mean, I think I listened to light language for almost a couple of years. So it's really about really focusing on it. Um, so it's part of the journey. Uh, there's a lot of emotions. If you think about it, a lot of us have been through a lot in our lifetimes. Um, so when it starts to come up to process, it's it's not something. It's a one and done. Yeah, it's like trillions and trillions of lifetimes. And, you know, 90% of us is us fighting ourselves, us attacking ourselves. And when we say attacking ourselves, it's versions of ourselves that are, you know, in their darkness, but they're enjoying in their darkness because they're exploring it and they don't want to, they don't want to leave, but we're ready to heal, right? We're, we're stuck here and we're like waking up and saying, hey, wait, you know, this is an illusion. I don't really want to be in this anymore. I'm bored. I want to get out of here and I'd like to get back into happiness and outside of this whole good and evil, uh, hot and cold, you know, and mm. we'd like to, you know, like be back into that frequency of love. And so uh, with that, what we're going to do is for anybody who wants this, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to make this one a little bit more open ended than just shame. I'm just going to say that whatever it is that is holding anyone back, meaning something that has truly crushed you to the ground, has made you vulnerable, has uh, really just torn you apart. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull in uh, some frequencies. Uh, it's going to be some very strong frequencies of love that are going to come down here and they're going to first off help you heal the timelines, right? Because that's what we want to do. We want to heal the timelines. And at the same time, uh, we also want to be aware of whatever it is that we need to release, release it, and then send the healing of, of love to it. So whatever that situation is, I'm just asked that you, you know, put it into your mind of, you know, what was it that just took you down? I mean, like, like a, a, a ton of bricks and a, you know, being dropped into the river, you just sank all the way down there and it was the most painful thing. So what we're going to do is try to release that, try to get into what that experience was, be aware of what that was and start healing it. And we're going to heal it with a frequency of love. You listen to this with your heart. Do not listen to it with your ears. Your ears aren't going to tell you anything, but your heart will. Uh, 
if you would like to accept it, you just have to say yes uh, in your mind uh, that you want to accept it. If you don't, that's fine. You can just say, no, I'm not ready for it. Uh, you won't receive anything you're not ready for as your team will kind of just bat it away. Uh, so with that, uh, set your intentions and let's uh, bring down a healing for whatever it was that just crushed you to the ground uh, that needs to be released so that you can move forward and we're going to fill all that uh, with healing and light and love uh, from the frequency of love. Breathe in a couple times and all right, so hopefully uh, you receive that. Uh, let us know how that was received. Uh, everybody's going to receive it in the way that they're meant to. And uh, just mm -hmm. put in the comments uh, how that made you feel. Let's see. Mm -hmm. She said, thank you, warm. Good, good. Just allow that to just kind of uh, move yourself uh, through. Uh, don't, you know, just be aware for anybody who did listen to it or did accept it. Uh, some emotions may come up. You may burp. You may flatulate a little bit. You may yawn. You may feel sleepy or you may feel energized. You may feel tingles. Everybody feels it in a different way. And sometimes you just get a memory pop up. And if that memory did pop up, that's something meant for your awareness to heal. And I see uh, and she said, Angel calmer. has joined. Yeah, definitely yeah, she said calmer, so that's good. Um, let's clear these in. We'll finish it up. That's good. Very, very good. Well, how's everybody doing this wonderful Saturday or Sunday? I was thinking Saturday. I'm time shifting again. So. Right, yeah, <laughs> I haven't been home I'm looking, days, so I'm like, I don't even know what day it is. Um, yeah. Still trying to get caught up. Um maybe put a christmas tree up tonight yeah is everyone good i'm glad melissa i'm glad it was helpful so just know and be aware of whatever you're getting pulled into alignment with obviously you're getting pulled to mine and larry's um live so it's going to help with releasing some of those emotions um you know there's somatic healing there's definitely like exercise that'll help release yoga um but you definitely need to get into listening to light language as well as probably some reiki i did a lot of that um during my healing process so yeah, I did all the above and then some. <laughs> yeah, still do I mean, it. Exactly. It's still part of the journey. Absolutely. Yeah, it's never one and done. And guess what? You're not done until you're out of here. And that means with your body, not just spirit. Mm -hmm. uh, because if you get out of here with your spirit only, guess what? You're back into this uh, lovely ride again. And uh, we don't want to mm -hmm. do that, do we? We want to heal so we can kind of get to the next space. Right. Oxy. Well, you're welcome. You're welcome. All right, let's wrap it up. I guess let's see what else we can pull um, in the energies. Oh, I think maybe one of the things that needs to come out today is no. uh, I think the nature's whispers. I think just like the forest, I think the nature's whispers wants to come out. It's just such a pretty mm -hmm. deck. It always inspires. Okay. So All right. I was going to do that, and then I was going to do the work your light and see what's coming through. Right. So one, and let's see what else we get here. Spirit, what else do we need to know for the collective here? That is ready. Okay, so we've got three cards right. here from Nature Spirit. No, oh, four. Wow, they they yeah. gave me a bonus plan today. All right, so if we look at uh, the colors, it's an interesting set of colors. Uh, mm -hmm. First one is trust your own understanding. Right, and look at the colors. They're all purple. And what's purple? That's generally the color of divine, either your third eye or the crown. I mm -hmm. believe Susan pulled the crown today. So uh, you're getting a lot of divine information. And so Spirit is telling you basically, you know, trust it. Trust your own understanding. Because remember, you're seeing things from your own perspective. Because although we're all sharing this common 
uh, playground. Each one of us sees it from our own perspective, from our own energies. So we may never, sometimes don't even, we're not even on the same timeline, but we are, right? So we share mm -hmm. the space, but the timelines are different even inside of our own space. And so always look at that and understand what you're seeing is what you're saying, not always what everybody else is seeing, and see the big picture, right? And so this is also, you know, more divine. You see that beautiful flower. Uh, so see that big picture. Don't always get so far down into the weeds that you're not seeing the beauty that's out there. Catch your breath. So you see her hugging that tree. And remember we talked about this. We talked about the heart, heart chakra, right? Heart mm -hmm. chakra is coming back up again. And if you notice the card bottom is yellow. So we're in, back into our sacral again. And then we have be true to your heart. And we notice it's a yellow and heart energy. So we're getting the same thing again. Start working on your heart. Start opening your heart. Start allowing your heart to let that energy flow in of love. And then mm. last but not least, maintain your childlike spirit. And again, you see all the colors are just being integrated in that we just talked about, the greens, uh, the mm. sacral, and also the crown, right? So you're getting all those energies uh, that we talked about. They're just showing up in your space. Uh, be like the child. And what does that mean? It means uh, look at the world with wonder, uh, mm -hmm. not with uh, disdain because of all life's experiences that have been meant to keep you down and keep you downtrodden. Uh, try to pull back out to that bigger view where you see the beauty in things, uh, even mm -hmm. inside of the weeds, right? And a lot of us are stuck in the weeds a lot. Uh, so pull yourself out of those weeds. And that's the message mm -hmm. of the courts today from nature. Wow. Yeah, well... I feel like we all need to pull ourselves out of the weeds. Um, I got from these, work your light. So I'll wrap it up with these. Um, answer the call. What is your soul calling you to do? So a lot of you are getting your signs, your synchronicities, and they're calling you to step into um, what you're seeing and what's going on and paying attention a little bit more. They also want you to have a little bit more fun. So don't be so serious, okay? And, you know, I I even get stuck on that sometimes because it can be very frustrating when things don't happen the way we think they should happen. So um, it can be very frustrating, but knowing that, reassuring yourself that everything's happening for the right reasons and for your um, growth. And then initiation, the rite of passage, you're going somewhere sacred. So you're getting guided along that path. So just to trust, sometimes we don't see the light at the end of the tunnel, um, which is the part of the frustrating part. Um, so that's why it's so important to just play with life and what they're giving you. All right. Cause it's all divinely orchestrated. And Aces would like a love card. So when you're done with those, I'm going to give them one card before we wrap it up. Yeah, I got them. Hey, do, you, do you have any other cards or that was that? No, it's okay. That's good. All right. So Ace, Let's see what we have for Ace in love. Let's see, yeah, the, let's see what the fairies want to say. And then I'm going to pull one other card too. So the fairies are saying spirit, soul, path, right? So spirit is guiding you to the right path, right? I know uh, through a bunch of questions that you've had over time, Angel, that uh, love has been a challenge uh, for you. And let's see what other cards want to be said for love for you. And the card that came out on this deck is dreams, right? So you need to get into that dream, find out what it is that you truly, truly want within uh, the space of love. And then we're going to get a quick message from my message deck here. Uh, I think I'm going to look at what's blocking you uh, in love. Mm. And so let's, let's look at what the, the block is. What's angels block uh, within love? Wow, that flew straight out. Uh, mm. Self-neglect, right? So, Angel, you're mm. neglecting your own needs in relationships and practice self-care. What does that mean? It means that, you know, you're just as important as your partner. So if you're always trying to uh, please your partner uh, while not pleasing yourself, it's like being a vegan and going to a steakhouse and, you know, because your partner's, you know, happy about it and wants to be at a steakhouse. Well, that's nice and it's allowing. Uh, perhaps you could have found a better, better mix of a place that's, does a lot more vegan other than just the salad uh, and at the same time uh, has a steak or something else uh, in place. So uh, love is telling you that right now it's more about finding what it is that you truly care about. And instead of allowing the, your partner's needs to overshadow yours, uh, try to find that balance, right? And so 
if you look at this card, right, what happens when we weight the card one way or another, right? It's going to tip straight over. And why is it tip straight over? Because there's an imbalance of the energies. Now, in a true love relationship, there's a dance, right? And each one of you is pushing and pulling at any given time. And that makes for balance. But if one's always pulling and the other one's always pushing, well, you see what happens. It falls flat on its face, right? And that's not what we want. So hopefully that helps you. Ace, uh, let me know if that uh, resonated. Um, and Melissa said, just got to say you two are amazing. Thank you. Thank appreciate you. We appreciate you. Absolutely. Um, so yeah, we, we're getting on Sundays usually on the lives. Depends on the time. Sometimes we do the morning. Sometimes we've been doing later. Um, just depends on the day. I was away for the last couple of days, so I needed to get caught up today. Um, but you know, definitely be following both of our channels. We'll both be doing some together, some individually. Um, sometimes I get on with Shelby, um, who's my girlfriend out of California, you know, just feel into it, but definitely be following, um, Larry's, um, YouTube for a lot of his light languages, which is huge for everyone that's going through these emotional shifts and then, um, reaching out for readings here and there. Just don't over get readings. Um, but certainly ask questions here and there to help you put on your, um, positive path. Um, it's not an easy journey. So if there's anything we can do to help, um, as well as you can get on my website, I'm under susanteresa.com, Mindset Reset 20 on um, Instagram. And then I'm just starting to get on YouTube. I haven't been posting, oh, but bad. So I have to get back to doing that this week. Um, and then you can follow me on TikTok as well. So thank you all for sharing your energy. You know, we're all, only on here to see who's in alignment, who needs some help and guidance. Um, so hopefully this was helpful for any of you. And then usually Larry will post the replays on his YouTube, depending. So um, definitely reach out if you need any other guidance. Yeah, definitely. But like I said, reach out, uh, as Susan said, uh, for any guidance, yeah. readings. Uh, she does Reiki, uh, the coaching. Uh, she also uh, does uh, full readings. They're hugely beneficial to understand where you are in your energies in this now moment. And as you understand, you know what to heal uh, from the spiritual side of it, too. I also do the light language healings. I do both personal light language. Uh, so very similar to what we just did here for a few minutes. A personal light language is somewhere between 7 and 15 minutes. It's tied to your own energies yeah. are full readings whichever one of us you choose it's going to be through zoom and you're going to get to interact a little bit more uh, so you're going to be able to ask questions and stuff it's well worth the 55 uh, that we charge and that price will probably go up by the end of the year you know so uh -huh. if you are looking to take advantage of it uh, please do try to take advantage of it while you can and uh, also uh, I can say if you are uh, looking at light language I have a lot of free stuff out there uh, silver fox spiritual and uh, on my uh, YouTube channel for readings, which is Silver Fox Spiritual Dash Readings, I started posting even on this one too in TikTok. I've started posting some fun pick a piles so you can uh, test your own intuition and get your own readings. I have some yes or no's, some messages from your person. I'll probably be posting a whole bunch more of those. Uh, so, you know, just make sure you're reaching out, make sure your notifications are on so you can see when we go on because both of us pop up when we when we're meant to and just pop pop on get on for a half hour 45 minutes one or two people will come on for something and then we we get we get off because uh, we were just kind of guided to do it so uh notifications on makes make sure that you know exactly when we pop on and uh with that yeah. thank you all please like follow share and subscribe and reach out for your um, own personal readings all right have a good sunday cheers um.